Hello, this is Mr. Banner with another fabulous IXL tutorial. Today we're working on IXL CC1 is X comma Y a solution to the system of equations. In this particular module, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ordered pair, in this case, 1 comma 1, and plug them into each equation and see if both sides are true. How do we know that both sides are true? Because we're looking for something called equals, the left side and the right side must match after solving the equation. If they don't match, we're gonna go ahead and select no. And if they both match, we're gonna select yes. Now, in the event that one equation works and the other one doesn't, it's still no. So once again, we're only gonna select yes if the solution works for both equations. Well, what does that exactly mean? So let's say for an example, we have uh, our first one as an orange and our second one as red. So what happens is I'm going to take my first equation and plug them in and see if it works. So we got 11 multiply x. Well, x is the orange one. So we're going to plug it in there. Plus y, which is the second value after the comma, 1, supposedly equals 1. Now, as you can imagine, this is not going to work because 11 times 1 is 11 bring down plus one equals one. Hmm. Last time I remembered 11 plus one is 12 and 12 is not equal to one. So automatically I'm already done because once an equation doesn't work, you can go ahead and just stop. So this one, no, because both sides are not equal. All right, next equation we have one and six. So let's uh, make our x value red, and let's make our y value orange. All right, so notice the equation here. We have y first, so 6 is going to go first. Equals 4 multiply. Now the x value comes before the comma. So if you guys remember, just to recap, the first value is always your x value and your second value is always your y value. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our x value and we're going to plug it in for x. So x value is 1 plus 2. All right, now we're going to see if both sides are true. This one uh, kind of looking good because we have 6 equals 4 times 1 is 4, bring down plus 2. Now, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 6 comes down, so we have 6 equals 6. And that looks fabulous. Now, I'm not done until I check the second equation. So first one's checked. Now, they both have to be true in order to select yes. Now, the second one, it looks a lot simpler. There's no multiplying. So the x value is a 1. And the y value is a 6. Now, by looking at it here, you can see that 1 plus 10 is 11. And 6 stays alone. But we got a problem though. 6 is not equal to 11. So this is that case where the first one works and the second equation does not. So only when they both work, you can select yes. However, because one of them is not working, it's still going to be a no for the final answer. All right, doing really good. We're at a smart score of 19. We're going to keep on rolling right along. All right, so we're going to get out of eraser. We don't need this, but I'm going to go ahead and keep my x value as our red value and my y value as orange so you see where everything comes from. All right, uh, first uh, equation, we got three multiply. The x value is a two, so we got three times two plus seven multiply the y value of two, supposedly equals 20. And I say supposedly because we don't know yet. Supposedly equals 20. Now, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 7 times 2 is 14, maybe equal 20. Now, 6 plus 14 does equal 20, where 20 equals 20. So, because 20 equals 20, the first one is a go, and that looks good. All right, now we got to take our second equation and see if it works. So, our x value is 2 plus 
our y value of 10 multiply the y value, which is 2. Now, why am I multiplying? When you have a constant, which is a number in front of a variable, in this case, 10 and y, it always means multiply. There's always multiplication between a constant, which is a number, and a variable, which is a number we don't know. In this case, we do know what it is. We're going to plug in 2. Uh, equal 6, supposedly. That's one doesn't look too good because uh, 10 times 2 is 20. And if I bring down the 2, we have 2 plus 20, which gets rather large because 2 plus 20 is 22. Uh, and on the right side, we have 6. So once again, the first equation works. The second one does not. So this one's going to be a no. So again, we're only selecting yes when both equations work. All right, let's just clear the board on this one. All right, um, our x value, we're going to run 2. So x is 2. And our y value is going to be 9. Uh, first equation doesn't work. So watch your x and the y. So y comes first in this case. So you want to use 9 first. So 9 equals uh, 4 multiply 2, so 2 is their x value, plus 1. This one looks good because 4 times 2 is going to be 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So you can see it. So we got 9 equals 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1. That looks great. And 9 equals 9. Fabulous. First one works great. So check. Now, the second one, let's see what happens. The second one is pretty straightforward. It's no no multiplication. You're just plugging it in. So if I plug in a 2 for the x value here, and I plug in a 9 for the y value here, there's really not much to work out because it's 2 plus 7. Wait a minute. 2 plus 7 is 9, and our y value is 9? This is our first equations where both of them work, and this one is a yes. So we're going to go ahead and just select yes on this one. All right, how am I doing? A smart score of 36 with four questions. Take your time, work it out. Um, all right, x value, make red. Let's go x value will be 1, and our y value will be 10. Um, first one, I'm just going to plug it in and see if it works. So the y value is 10 here, and our x value is a 1. So notice that 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. So the first equation looks great. I uh, want to keep that. Uh, second equation, maybe. So y is also 10, and our x value is 1. Now, be careful. That's not 91 because that's 9 times 1. So I'm going to put the multiplication dot there. So let's check it out. We got 9 times 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. Check again. Um, they both work. So this one's going to be a yes. Uh, is 4 1 a solution to the system of equations? This one, uh, they're going to work us a little bit because now we got two multiplications. We got 3 times x and, three, and 2 times y. Not a big deal. So we got 3 times uh, 4 plus um, 2 multiply 2 multiply y, which is 1, equals. Uh, 14. Uh, let's see how this goes. This actually looks good because we got 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 times 1 is 2 equals 14. Maybe, 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 maybe. And 12 plus 2 is absolutely 14 equals 14. So first one is good. Uh, that's a yes. Let's make room for another one. Let's do our second equation here. X value is going to be a 4. So we got 4 here plus 2 multiply Y value is 1 equals 6. So now we got multiplication first. So 2 times 1 is 2 and bring down the 4. Oh, this looks great. 4 plus 2 is 6 and our right side is already equal to 6 here. So both equations work. 
Uh, this one is a yes. Fabulous. All right, next up we got is 2A a solution to the system of equations? That's a good question. 2 is going to be red and 8 is going to be y. First equation, we got 8. Again, we're using the first equation. Uh, equals 5 multiply. What is our x value? <laughs> you got it. X value is 2. 5 times 2, then uh, add 1. This one looks like it's too high. It looks like 11 equals 8. Um, so we got 8 equals 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1. Yeah, this one's not going to work, right? So uh, because we have 8 equals 11, I'm already done. So you don't have to go any further. You don't have to work the second one out if it's already a no. So I'm done right here because, again, 8 does not equal 11. Just stop. So you're good. No. All right. Next up, we have x equal or x plus 6y equals 13. All right. So our x value is going to be 1 plus 6 multiply 2. 2, 2, 2, 2, two is going to be orange um, equals 13, supposedly. This looks, actually looks good because we got 6 times 2, which is 12, and bring down the 1. Let's see. 1 plus 12 is 13. So first equation looks great. Bring down 13 on the right side. That works. Now the question is, does the second equation work? If it does, we're going to select yes. If it doesn't work, we're going to select no. Uh, make some space here. All right, here we go. We got 8 multiply x value is one so eight times one plus ooh, three multiply two y value is two um possibly does it equal 14. to me it looks a little high but let's check and find out we got eight times one is eight plus three times two is six. Oh, it does work Possibly equal 14, and it is true that 8 plus 6 is 14 equals 14. So this one is a yes because they both work. Okay, I'm in the 60s now, eight questions later. This one, uh, this is a good IXL. Make sure you just work on your basic skills of adding and multiplying because now we got a 2 for x. And we have a 10 for y. All right, uh, y is going to come first. So careful on that. y is 10 equals now the x value of 2 plus 8. I should have wrote on top of it because this one's straightforward. Um, 2 plus 8 is 10. And the left side is already equal to 10. So this one's nice. First one's good. Now let's try writing on the second one. So I have to write this whole thing out. Y is 10 and X is 2. And remember, when you have a constant and a variable, it's 5 times 2. So the second one doesn't work because if you look at 5 times 2 is 10 plus another 10 is 20. So 10 on the left side cannot equal 20 on the right side. So the second one is the bus. It doesn't work. So, new on that one. Oh boy, oh boy, we got fractions. <laughs> Don't worry, fractions aren't bad. Fractions are division. Just use your division skills. But what happens when I show you how to do it? Because it's not that bad. All right, uh, y is negative 7. So, we got negative 7 for our first equation. So again, using our first equation here. Negative 7 equals 1 half multiply, 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 negative 2 uh, minus 4. All right. So multiplication hmm, of fraction. So this is where some people are going to get stuck. 
Now, in order to get unstuck is when you multiply a fraction times a whole number, it is easiest to just go ahead and put a denominator of one, just like we do on, remember, rise over run for slope? If they don't give you the denominator for slope, you just use a one. And now you just multiply straight across. Do not cross multiply, very bad, do not cross multiply. All right, so now I got negative seven equals one multiplied negative two is negative two on top. And on the denominator, two multiply one is positive two. Subtract four at the end. Now simplify your fraction. We got negative seven equals negative two divided two, eh, kind of confusing. Two divided two is one, and a negative divide a positive is a negative. So that whole fraction thing that was a mess, the whole thing was negative one, it wasn't that bad. Minus four. All right, so now if we go shopping at Walmart and spend a dollar, and we go shopping at Target and spend four dollars, spending money twice is gonna cause us to spend five dollars. But if you recall from the left side, the left side, our original y value here was negative seven. So therefore we got an issue. Negative seven doesn't equal negative five, so therefore this one, we're done. We don't have to do the second one because it doesn't work. So we're gonna go ahead and select no. All right, next one, we got negative two for x and we got positive five for the y value. Now, if you take a look at the equations below, notice the second equation is really, really short. What I'm gonna do is to save a little time, I'm gonna try using the short equation first, and if it's a no, I can just be done fast. I'm just gonna try and see if it works. Now, x equals negative two, well, how does that work? Well, literally take the x value and plug it in for x. So x is negative two. Now, if you notice that x is negative two equals negative two, the second one already works. So we have to do the first one. But the second one's already done though. So when there's only one value, just take that one value, plug it in, and again, it's the left side equal to the right side. Yes, then you move on. If no, then you're done. All right, um, we do have to work out the fraction though. So let's do that. The y value is positive five equals one half multiply with our x value, negative two. This looks familiar, like we just did this one. Uh, plus six. Okay, so we got our fraction, multiply a whole number again. Take your whole number, make it into a fraction, and multiply only straight across. Once again, do not cross multiply because you will be upset You'll be mad at math. It's too hard because you made it more difficult than you have to. All right, so five comes down. Leave it alone. We got positive one times the negative two is negative two on the numerator. And on the denominator, we have two multiply one. Let's see, two times one is positive two. Nice. Plus six. Now this one looks like it could work. I just need to simplify the fraction because a number matching a number on the fraction is gonna give us a one. So we have two divide two is one and a negative divide a positive is negative one. Don't forget your six at the end. And this one's looking fabulous because negative one plus six, mm, kind of confusing. Six subtract one, <laughs> there we go, is five. So we have left side of five equals five. The first one also works. So both the equations work. Now again, if you saw a small equation, if it didn't work, it could have saved us time in the first one. But they both work, we had to check it, it's the way it goes. So this one's gonna be a yes. All right, next up, how are we doing? We were 11 questions, 20 minutes in. Woo, just taking my time. Um, smart score is 72, clear the board. All right, we got X value of one. I like ones, makes it easy. And Y value of one. All right, 
We got six multiply. We're using the first equation, by the way. Six multiply. The x value is one plus thirteen times thirteen times y value, which is one, maybe equal nineteen. We're looking pretty good. Six times one is six, plus thirteen times one is thirteen. So no changes on that. Maybe equal nineteen. And when you add the six and the three, that's your nine. Carry the one. Six plus thirteen is nineteen. Therefore, the first one is a go. Now it comes down to the second one. Is the second one going to work or not? Let's find out. X value, oh no, we got one there, plus 15, multiply Y, which is one, maybe equal nine. Now you can tell right here, if you have 15 times one, which is 15, and you're adding another one, there's no way that one plus 15 is gonna give you nine because one plus 15 actually gives you 16. And that is a beautiful addition sign there. Uh, and 16 and nine, nah, doesn't work. So 16 does not equal nine, this one is a no, based upon the second equation not working. So turn that one in. 75, I need two, looks like I need two more. I'm gonna be able to wrap up this like so. All right. We got a first equation. Uh, what's our y value and our x value? Our x value is going to be two. Our y value is going to be three. Y value plug in three equals one over two multiply two plus two. All right, let's talk about the, again, the fraction times the multiplication. This comes up again. Try to think logically what that means. If you have a half multiplied times a number, it is telling you take half. So like literally, what is half of two? So if I take two and divide it in half, again, half of two, oh, that's one. Fraction's done. See how nice that was? Plus the two that comes down here on the far right side. All right, so another way to look at fractions. If it says half, literally they take half of the number. Half of two is one. And three does equal one plus two, which is three. First equation is a go. That works out nice. So we have to check the second equation and see if it works. Uh, the second equation, I can just plug it in because I should be able to look at it and see if it works. Because we got five multiply the x value of two and let's go ahead and make that red so we don't confuse anybody. So that two is red because it's the X uh, equals three, supposedly. So Y is three. Now does three equal five times two, which is uh, 10 and 10 minus seven is three? That actually works nice. So three equals three. So once again, I plugged in two for X, five times two is 10. And there's a minus seven underneath our two that I wrote over that had me. Uh, 10 minus 7 is 3. So both equations here are working great. So this one's going to be a yes. They both work. All right, last one. Smart score 78. If I get this one right, I'll be super happy. I'll be done. Clear the board. First off, we got X is 2. And then we have Y is 4. So when y is four, the first one literally changed the y into a four, four equals four. The first equation was a whole, uh, freebie, four equals four. Nice, done. Okay, now the second one is, I gotta work it out one out. It all comes down to the second equation to get a smart score of 81. So I'm gonna take my time, be careful on this one. We have x equals two and we have plus four times, what is the y value? Four, uh, let's get my orange, four equals 18. 
this one's actually looking really good because I think we're going to have a 2 plus 16 give us 18. It's kind of nice when you work it out and actually show your work, you can see things that pop up before you even finish it because I'm already looking right here. Well, 4 times 4 is 16. Then they want us to add the x value of the 2, so I got 2 plus the 16. Yeah, we got 18 equals 18. So for the win of 81 smart score, this one's a yes because both equations work. And there we go. Smart score of 81. This concludes IXL. CC1 is XYA solution to a system of equations. Have a fantastic day.